Hi there, my name's Clive. I run a website called RetroToyRevivals.com um, and basically it's dedicated to everything 60s, 70s and 80s, um, mainly toys. Uh, I make toys there and obviously I make the boxes as well. Uh, this video I'm showing you now is a few of my personal toys that I've collected over the years uh, and bits and pieces. I have quite an, uh, an eclectic taste of what I like. Um, nothing is really together, it's uh, strewed all around the house really, but uh, uh, most of my collection is upstairs here um, on display. So I hope you like the video. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you around the top here uh, of the house and show you what I've got and uh, I hope you like what I show you. Um, I'm not going to give you run running commentary all the way through, but uh, for certain pieces um, I will tell you what they're about. Okay, so what we're looking at at the minute is uh, Charlton Heston's autograph here, uh, and that was uh, from obviously Planet of the Apes. Now I'm just panning the camera up here now, and you can see um, Sam Jones from Flash Gordon. That's an autograph that I've got. And then just above that, uh, you can just see a reflection of the light there, but <clears throat> it's uh, Jerry Marin. Uh, one of the lollipop kids from The Wizard of Oz there. So he's actually signed that. Uh, and then there's uh, a picture there of him actually signing that particular autograph. Okay. So there's just three three autographs I've got on that part of the wall. I'm um, just going to pan around quickly. Uh, and there's a Russell Crowe autograph there from The Gladiator. I've had that one for about seven, eight years now. Um, uh, it's not one of my favourites, but uh, it's uh, it's a nice piece to have. Okay. So as we come down here, I'm just going to pan around and just show you the top here. Um, if you can get that, uh, maybe the light reflection is uh, not too good. But that's uh, that's Paris Themen who played Mike TV in the first Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory film. Uh, and he's personally signed that to me there. Um, I don't know if you can get a good a good angle on that there, but uh, I'm sure you can see it. Okay, coming down here is one of my favourite pieces from the from the new Willy Wonka film, uh, and this is the lolly um, that Veruca Salt had uh, in the second film with Johnny Depp. Uh, apparently, um, I've been in contact with L Street Film Studios uh, and they've told me that only three of these lollies were produced uh, in different stages of distress. Um, L Street Film Studios have the first lolly. Um, this one here in the frame is the second one that I own uh, and the third one apparently is owned by a, a movie buff guy in America somewhere. Uh, a really nice piece to have. Um, I got this piece uh, about a, about five or six months after the film was made. Um, this came up straight for auction um, on a private website uh, and I actually uh, was good enough to, to win that auction. Um, I had it professionally framed with UV glass uh, with the certificate of authenticity next to it to prove what it is and uh, it's a nice piece to have in my collection. Um, so just panning down, um, probably the uh, the best piece in the Willy Wonka um, parts of memorabilia, bits and pieces that I have, would be the Wonka bar here. Now this Wonka bar is from, again, from the first film. Uh, and this was, um, this came up for sale actually in America uh, on a private website, which I went on to, uh, which were doing auctions. Uh, uh, and. Uh, I had a chance to actually talk to the seller about the actual item, uh, and she was uh, she was getting rid of it um, because uh, she needed money to put her son through college. Um, so uh, she said to me it was original. I took a chance. I bought it. Um, I didn't know I didn't know really much about it at the time. Um, I didn't pay a particularly awful amount for it, uh, and when I got it back to uh, good old England here, um, I had it checked over by. A professional to have a look to see uh, if it was original uh, and whether or not they'd come across an original before which they had um, they checked it out uh, and not only is it an original which it is 
um, it's actually signed on the back by all the all the cast, all the all the children uh, that played uh, played in the film, uh, and obviously uh, it's uh, it's a lovely piece to have. Um, I'm very proud to own it, um, and uh, it's probably probably the one of the best pieces I have um, in my collection uh, regarding props. That is, um, but uh, I, I really I really like it. Um, so just coming down a bit further. Um, there we've got uh, Gene Wilder there. Uh, that's an autograph I've had for quite some time now. Um, fully authenticated by the UA, UACC um, in Britain. And uh, that's uh, also a lovely autograph to have. Now I'm not going to go on too much about the autographs and pieces that I have there. But I'm just going to pan up now slowly uh, and just go on to my collection of Corgi icons. I've only got a few of these. Uh, these are the Wizard of Oz Corgi icons there. Uh, first off you can see the, the lion, followed by the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and Dorothy there, the Wicked Witch of the West, and then we've got um, the, the Wizard of Oz himself there. And then next to that we've got a card there containing an authentic piece of the Yellow Brick Road. Uh, and then there um, we have a piece of the wagon wheel that was uh, that was in the film, and that was propped up against the um, the wizard's uh, Marvel, uh, if you want to say, gypsy caravan in the film. Um, so that's uh, an original piece. Uh, they're all original pieces that I have. Um, okay. So as I said, quite an eclectic taste I have. Uh, so we're going straight from Willy Wonka to Wizard of Oz, straight to the 60s now. Um, and I'm just going to show you a few sweet cigarette boxes from the 60s that I've collected over the over the time. Um, there's a Stingray box there, Fireball XL5, and uh, quite a few as we go across there. Space Patrol, Z Car, Stingray, Daleks, Batman, UFO there, um, Man from Uncle, uh, Jerry Anderson's Thunderbirds, and Captain Scarlet there. There's a Superman one there. Uh, Joe 90 and on the end there which isn't really anything to do with the 60s really I just put it there because obviously it is original as well is a Knight Rider box. Uh, uh, panning up again uh, if you want to have a close in look there um, these are all costume cards from the second Willy Wonka film with Johnny Depp uh, that's uh, Violet Beauregard and that's a piece of a um, jumpsuit that she actually wore in the film there uh, and then going on to Charlie's trousers, there's a swatch there of Charlie's trousers. Uh, another piece of um, Augustus Gloop's top there. Mike TV's t-shirt and then right at the end there we've got a bit there of uh, Veruca Salt's dress. Okay, uh, not really much to say about the top shelf, just a few bits that I've collected over time. There's a skeleton money box, money grabber, money money grabber sort of uh, money box there. There's a danger mouse, uh, bendy, bendy. I'd say it's a bendy um, danger mouse. One of the first ones that came out to promote the uh, the uh, series on TV. Um, original Wizard of Oz game there. That was released in 1960, so it's quite an old game and that's complete. I've got all the pits bits from that, so uh, that's a nice piece to have. Uh, just a few uh, bits and pieces on the top there. There's a, a Green Hornet Corgi car there with Kato. Uh, and then, I don't know if you can see that, that's the Saints car, the Jaguar there. Okay, so that's just a few pieces there. So I'm just going to bring the camera down and just swing around the corner here and just take you on to the next part. Okay, uh, here we have an original um, Halloween box set signed on the front by Jamie Lee Curtis and just above that we have a nice piece again from the Wizard of Oz there I don't know if you can see it very clearly but uh, that's a signed check by Jack Haley there okay going over going over to the right here um, I've got I don't know if you can make that out very well it's a, a Jaws autograph signed by three Roy Scheider um, Richard Dreyfus and the author Peter Benchley there signed Worth quite a bit that uh, autograph, uh, and it's a nice piece to have. Okay, so I'm just going to pan around again. I said I wasn't going to do too much commentary, but it looks like I'm giving you running commentary on everything here. 
So uh, we've got Margot Kidder there, who played Lewis Lane, there, and there, completely out of context really, um, it's just a, an autograph I saw a while ago and I got it for a really good price, uh, it's one of our British footballers, uh, Sir Stanley Matthews there, uh, just promoting football boots sold by the cooperative, there. So, so as we move the camera up, we can see we've got an original, um, original disc there, uh, music disc uh, from the Ghostbusters, um, signed by majority of the main characters that were in the film. Um, I think we've got Bill Murray on there, Sigourney Weaver, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd, and Harold Ramis, I believe. Um, and they're they're the main characters uh, in the film. I've had this bit. In, I've had this in my collection for roughly eight years now, uh, eight to ten years, and uh, uh, I like it quite a lot. That one. So just coming down here. Uh, now we're getting more into the toy side of things. Um, Gerard Christopher here, who played Superboy. Um, not really a massive. Um, iconic film or anything like that but uh, there, was, there was a film made um, it wasn't particularly very big um, but uh, it was a nice nice autograph to have at the time and it's a nice sort of press shot there and just coming down here um, this is uh, an original poster advertising Aurora uh, models from the 60s there and then just below that we have Michael Jackson's autograph this is an original autograph there and it's one of 30 ever produced um, and the reason why it's, it's pretty rare uh, Michael Jackson was assigned when he was a child to two record companies at one, one time uh, and uh, without going into too much detail he wasn't allow, allowed to sign too much um, and uh, he signed this when he was young, very young and uh, it's one of 30 um, so there's only 30 of these uh, autographs um, floating around and the uh, the negatives were destroyed upon you know upon completion of all the autographs being signed. So uh, there's only 30 around. I think this is number three of 30. Okay, so that's it for the really for the autographs. I do have I have many more, but uh, obviously I haven't got enough room to to display everything up here. I've only got a limited amount of space. So just going around to the toys side here, I'm going to show you uh, a mix a mix of toys really. A lot of toys from the 60s, uh, 70s and 80s. Um, I've clubbed them all together because that's how I like to display them. Um, but uh, I am hoping for a little bit more room in the future so I can display a lot more of my stuff that I've actually currently got in boxes. So there we go. I'm not going to go through every single item here because uh, obviously there's, there's much too much to, to list. But uh, just, just going through a few bits and you can actually see what I've got there. I'm not going to move the camera too fast because um, you might miss something. So just going down here. There's Wonder Woman there. A UFO box there. And a UFO interceptor box there and the supercar box. Uh, there's nice nice boxes there. Those uh the, the Sugar Smacks boxes are reproductions by the way. They're not uh, they're not original boxes but uh very hard to get hold of really good reproduction boxes. Uh, again, these are on actually my website at retrotoyrevivals.com. Uh, I sell majority of these boxes here, you can see. Um, but uh, a lot of these are original, original boxes. Okay. Okay, so if I just come back here and just pan up slowly and just come out, you can actually see a few more toys that I've got here. There's a few vehicles there from Superman, all Corgi, and then uh, there's an original Wonder Woman annual there, 1980, and uh, a Clash of the Titans Charon figure, that's AFA graded there. Okay, so I'm just coming backwards, uh, there's a Thunderbirds 2 there, uh, Man, uh, it's actually not a man from Uncle, it's a girl from Uncle, um, Bubblegum Rapper there from the 60s. Uh, Batmobile car and then we have a, a painted model of Wonder Woman. Uh, the box is there to go with it. 
but uh, I painted that about two years ago. It took me a while to paint and get it just right, but uh, I had fun with that one. And just going up, up here we have um, an original Daily Planet on the on the wall here, uh, and it says Bad Man at Work. And then, if you can see that clearly, I'm not too sure um, on my camera I've got a bit of reflection there but uh, it's actually signed by Christopher Reeve there uh, with a with a nameplate and uh, just explains a little bit about the film uh, where I obtained it and uh, and uh, what film it's from so uh, a few nice pieces there I'm just gonna move the camera down now and then you can have a have a look at the cabinets and what's in the cabinets here Okay, so the first cab cabinet I'm going to show you is the Star Wars cabinet. Now at the back there, I don't know if you can make that out very clearly, but uh, we've got an original Jawa there, a carded Jawa by Kenner with uh, a vinyl cape. And then you've got uh, a Luke Skywalker Power of the Force figure. And then just below that, I've put in these collector's tubes. There are some rare rare figures from Star Wars. Um, you've got a, a snaggletooth there, a blue snaggletooth. He's, he's pretty much in mint condition. Um, I bought him a long, long time ago uh, for next to no money really. Um, and the person I don't think really knew what they were selling. Uh, and I picked, um, picked him up relatively cheaply. Um, but uh, he's, a, he's, he's pretty much mint. And then you've got Luke Skywalker there in Stormtrooper disguise. Um, a lot of these figures go yellow over the time, over the period of time, um, and he's pretty much kept his uh, the, the whiteness to that figure. There we can see Boba Fett. He's a he's a prototype. He's uh, one of the first ones made before they actually went into production. Uh, it took me a long, long time to find this figure. Um, not carded or anything like that. They were never carded, um, and I, I paid a small fortune for him. Uh, so and just I've just got a few bits and pieces there, a few pezzes, um, an R2D2 there, and uh, just a couple of bits and pieces there. So as we pan down here, there's Steve Austin, six million dollar man there, and he's got his engine block below him there, and then there's a few tickets. I don't know if you can see that clearly there. One is of Evil Knievel's Wembley jump when he uh, jumped the buses at Wembley. And the other two tickets are from the Snake River Pass when he uh, did his famous jump um, over the Grand Canyon um, in America. And that's Evil Knievel. So uh, I've got that's, a, that's an original um, Evil Knievel doll with Winder and his box there. And then the light diminishes slightly here, so I'm just going to go down slowly. Um, I'm not sure how good the quality is going to be, so you just have to bear with me. Uh, I've got an original box there, James Bond, Kicking James Bond by Gilbert Toys. Um, I've got a model there that I've built um, of the bat, uh, the bat boat there, and there's some shrinky dinks from the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, 79, 80. Uh, and I don't know if you can see much more after that, but there's uh, there's original Punch and Judy um, puppet there, character puppet. Uh, that's 1963. That that model, uh, that puppet, sorry, there. And then you've got uh, a few pieces down there. Rupert the Bear obviously is there. So I'm just going to come slowly up here, and then move on to the second cabinet that I've got here. Um, I would have more cabinets to show you and to display stuff, but uh, I've got a limited amount of space that I can actually use here. So uh, I've just tried to utilise what I can. So I've got a couple of models there, uh, Odd Job and James Bond there. Uh, I've got a full box set of Moonraker cards, bubblegum cards. Got them at a, a toy fair in, in England, in uh, Bolton actually, and uh, cost me next to nothing. So it's quite a good find. Uh, and just just panning in there, we've got a, a box of rubber bands. Not that interesting, but uh, it's James Bond nevertheless. And a few figures there from Thunderball, some of the divers. And then you've got the Citroen car there, and obviously uh, the little Nelly at the back, which is also made by Corgi. So just coming down here, so that's mainly all 60s stuff there. 